Hi everyone, Pat Doherty here with your Tennis IQ topics for today. We're talking about the aggressive use of the second serve. For a lot of players, they don't quite understand when I say things like, you know your first serve percentage can get too high. And another statement that might confuse them is when I say double faults aren't really the most costly thing that can happen to you unless they just happen chronically. Um, we don't want to live in fear of the double fault the whole time. If you're afraid of double faulting too much of the time, make the adjustment to get your first serve in play more often so you don't have to deal with second serves. When I say that percentages can get too high on the first serve, it's if you're taking it so safely to get nine out of 10 in that your winning percentage on first serve points one is dismal. So you, you might be getting the point started, but you're not getting it to finish the way you want it to. Same thing goes when you're afraid of the double faults too much. Players will ease up and their winning percentage on second serve per percentages go way down. So if you spend the whole day missing 50% of your first serve, starting the 50% of the points on second serve, and you're just pushing that second serve over, you're gonna win a very small percentage of those points. That can wind up costing you 30 or 40 points compared to maybe being aggressive and having a couple more double faults as a result. So really keep it in context to manage your first serve percentage so you don't subject yourself to so many points starting on second serve. But when it is time to use your second serve, that's why we see Rafa and Fed use so many second serve types of variety in the first serve position. They're basically running the same combinations, those serve plus one combinations off both first and second serve. So you're not gonna see much different out of them. They keep a high percentage of first serves in play and they look to set up their forehands on that second ball. And that's what you wanna do as well if your strength is, is the forehand or the backhand. Make sure you're giving it those opportunities uh, to your strengths, so you want to get that first serve started and look for that opportunity to strike big with your big weapon on the ground stroke to follow up. Good luck working on all that.